Present me well from gifts thine own, or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. A grasping hand, an offering vile. Enter now the dread lord's trial. better moment. and wash them down with steel! <laughs> see how my skull shines? It is so you might see the fear in your own eyes! will stand in my way. I think I could go another round. No steel can save me.
fight. Let's go. You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealots. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants. Each returns to do his bidding eternally. This is the court of the dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. But these are not aspirants. You have brought traitors of Baal into our midst. Harper Worm, the abdicating hero. Your keen sense for this city has withered in your absence. And you, man of stone, as you stood a statue, a helpless ornament, your city warped, changed, became ripe for the plucking. Saravok, Baal's least favorite son. Still tied to daddy's apron strings, I see. <laughs> you disappoint me, child of murder. I expected more of your return. Saravok Anchev, a relic of your cursed line. A Baal spawn who failed to become chosen. And yet, the history he shares with your companion seems to run almost as deep as your own. What purpose do you have in bringing these heretics to the court of Baal? Speak, or death will be your final word. Simple. We beat him about the brow and butt until he was dead. Saravok once fancied himself Baal's chosen, until we put him in his place. Feel no shame for forgetting him. History shall do the same. These two have long meddled in my affairs, and my father's. Do not parlay with this madman. Zerevok once had his chance to taste of goodness, but he spat it back out. Now he may taste boot leather instead. You speak of the past, I speak of the future. Well, aspirant, do the shades of yesterday speak for you too? There are two paths to the Temple of Baal. To carve your devotion into flesh or to be the carcass that is carved upon. You make promises that aren't yours to keep. Take care that their breaking does not break something more. Uh, if Minsk is certain of one thing, it is that he very much plans on being a problem for Saravok. I know these two well. I have traveled in their company. Whatever else may be said of them, they answer to no one but themselves. It seems there is some disagreement on who is master here. Forgive the insolence, master. Order and Minsk obeys, as if Boo himself commanded. I never thought I'd see this. The Harper and the idiot ranger brought to their knees before me. 
The violence pleases Baal. The domination pleases me. Your slaves may stand. The better to bear witness. You are something truly glorious, child. Are you here to have your vengeance on my granddaughter, Orin? She is the child of my child, and your blood kin. But she only seeks the body and favor you were born to inherit. She may have usurped you once, but all her rites and rituals will never match her to your natural gift. Baal is about to name a new chosen. All is between you and my granddaughter, Arin, now. And Arin has much to learn. Our Lord does not care for beauty. Baal cares only for death. Death in numbers. Death in droves. It is a lesson Arin will only learn in death. I wonder if you will be the one to teach her. She seeks to sacrifice you in our father's temple. She dreams that your corpse will be her masterpiece. But she forgets, before your incident, you were the true master. You were murder, pure murder. No excesses, no pretensions. I believe you will be the one to slay Arin, but you will need my help. I see you have not embraced your birthright yet. Perhaps with my stewardship, Father will bless you yet, before you may return to our Father's fold. I must first ensure that you remain as pure and worthy of his blessings as you once were. Come, child of murder, let me lead you in Baal's worship. Forgive me, child of Baal. I forget myself. Reverence. Zeal. Long may he reign. We have a sacrifice prepared for you, child of murder. Let us celebrate your becoming. My hamster mislikes this, but I have assured him, you have some purpose to this play acting, yes? Of course I trust you, my friend. But remember, Minsk bent the knee as you asked, but all four of Boo's little legs remain upright and primed for Saravok's tender parts. Play whatever part you must to get us closer to Orin Stone. It is not for me to question, only to remind you that it is a part. And I thought I knew what the hell was. What delightful circumstances we find ourselves in. joy to have found the nadir of common decency. Let's conclude our business here quickly and never speak of it again. Baal should be begging me to join his ranks. 
Saravok charts Gwynvar. Or, as they say in the local parlance, Saravok can eat shit. I know the look is meant to be very murder-heavy, but it's a bit much, even for me. The Deathbringer Saravok. He was made into ash, and from ash, it seems, he rose again. To fight, the consequences are hardly surprising. No bug is safe from move. these days. I will 
not tolerate impudence. This place shall be your grave. They've fallen.
seems the only way out is through. Into the bloody fray! Battle cries, fiend, and wash them down with steel!
Jesus, it's hot in here. These boots have seen everything. you bloody long enough. You've no idea how wrinkles like mine get caught in chains like that. I suppose some thanks are in order. You did a good job putting a stop to those barlist burks. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I, uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Well, at least it's over now. Oh, well, 
I'd call you rude, but I have the misfortune of owing you my life. You gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have what I don't. Courage, insight, heroism. The city needs you. I overheard these pigs talking. There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity that the cult is using. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic sorts. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? The wrinkled orb is correct. Boo remembers the stench of the temple still. Very good. Now, let's talk and find that temple. This place is foul as piss. I'm out of here. The cub speaks. Nothing so grand. He was just another broken little ball spawn who tried to clamber to glory over the corpses of others. There was a time when he might have made more of himself. He was certainly given the chance after we threw him down, but he slunk back into his father's shadow instead. <laughs> there is nothing more to say of him. <laughs> 